things that uh, working engineers can do to make sure that there's a next generation who can really come behind them. I think a major issue relates to the fact of being advocates for teaching the things, the skills in the schools that in fact that they value and that they're going to need. In many cases, I think there's more value that's put on, on passing tests that don't necessarily relate to the real skill building that is going to be important. So being advocates for good, high quality education in the schools is number one. Number two, I think, is that there is an opportunity to let young people shadow them. Let them see what they are doing because they're, they're, it's quite clear that the, the young people, or the, neither the young people nor their parents, really fully appreciate the kind of wide variety of opportunity and work and place and work related issues that engineers can have a chance to acquaint them with. And I, I think that that's a, a, a really uh, serious issue, basically building this co career awareness that, that can be done. I think the third thing is to support the kinds of programs that we have here. Because you have you're not going to necessarily make all the changes. We're all going to work together to try to make changes within the schools. But it's not going to happen overnight. And so the, we've got to have programs like this that can really bring the excitement, the energy, the possibility to communities that otherwise aren't participating at the levels that we need them to within science and engineering. And I, I, I'm just excited that, that there is this awareness that is growing out there. And, and I, I hope that, that the, the engineers can begin to feel empowered to really move on this issue because there is so much that they can do because they are problem solvers. And here is a big problem. So, um, we can't afford to have a skills gap in the United States in this arena. Um, we need to, uh, to really have the educational pipeline humming along at full force, and that requires um, all hands on deck. It, we need to uh, engage all the underrepresented minorities um, uh, fully in, uh, in educational uh, excellence to build that kind of cohort of engineers who can uh, who can create the economy of the 21st century. Uh, without that, we won't have a prosperous future. So I'm a, just a firm believer in um, uh, early, uh, often, uh, tenacity, uh, persistence in education for, um, for the future, getting those skill sets. And there will be jobs there. There are many studies that have shown that, uh, that uh, well-paying jobs, um, ability to, to transfer around, uh, so you can move your family, uh, around the country as needed, so it's a very, um, uh, very good profession anyway, just from the pocketbook standpoint. But we really have some challenges in terms of building the diversity. We are leaving too many young people, talented young people, behind and out of this pipeline. And uh, we're going to do our best at the University of Illinois to ensure that um, all, all our talented young people have great opportunities to build their capabilities.